Let's take a look at working with shapes, adding drop shadows, changing the weight, the line to a wavy line or a thicker line, um, changing your fill to a gradient or a texture or something. So um, open up PowerPoint and we are going to get under layout. We want just a blank slide so that we don't worry about anything on here and we're just going to add some shapes. So let's go ahead and add maybe a star. And if you hold that shift key down, you'll get a perfect star. And the same thing if you insert a circle or a square, for example, if you want it to be a perfect circle or a perfect square, hold down your shift key as you draw that shape. Now, what can we do with this shape? Yeah, there's some presets here, but who likes to go with presets, right? Maybe they're fine for a quick down and dirty, but let's see how we can change the shape the way that we want it to be. So I am going to make sure that I have the shape selected and I'll want to come up to this shape format tab. If I don't have it selected, I don't see the shape format tab because PowerPoint doesn't know what I want to do. I want to work on the shape. I click on the shape, shape format tab comes up. So now I have shape fill, shape outline, and shape effects. So let's go to fill and let's say that I would like to go to more fill colors. I don't like any of these. And I can pick from standard colors here, or I can pick a custom color. First, I would click my range, and then I could slide this to how dark or how light I would like that particular color that I clicked on. When I finished with that, with the fill, um, if let's say I wanted other ones, I wanted gradients or textures, well, I can come over here and again pick from um, some preset ones, but I can click on more gradients and up's going to pop this little sidebar. And then I can do all kinds of things. I can change my colors and my transparency. Gradients, I can say whether I would like one of these presets or and whether I want it linear, radial, rectangular, or draw a path. And I can pick my color. So I want to go back to that purple color. I can say purple there. And if I would like green in the middle. And then I can move these sliders around. And it will change the gradient on, on my shape. So I can just keep messing around with this and decide how I would like it to look. Notice that I could pick a pattern and I could pick one of these patterns instead. I can do all kinds of things in here, including uploading my own picture. So I can pick um, my own picture and upload it if I want. Now let's take a look at the line. Let's go to the outline and let's say I would like um, a red line and I want a heavier weight on my line so I can pick a heavier weight and on my outline I can also say I prefer it to look sketchy like a handmade sketch or something like that. Now if I pull a shape out by the corner handle and hold that shift key down remember it will stay a perfect symmetrical shape. If I don't hold the shift key, I can distort it. Now let's say I want to put a drop shadow on this. I can click on the shape and underneath shape effects, notice that I can pick a drop shadow. I can click glows and I can make it glow if I like. I can put soft edges on it. I can either even do a 3D rotation. So let me go oh, on reflection. I forgot about that. And there might be some presets that I can take a look at. Well, I'm going to go to shadow and go ahead and put a drop shadow on. Now over here I can click here and adjust my shadow if I want. If I want the angle to be a little sharper, 
I can do that if I want the distance to be a little farther out so that I can see that shadow a little bit more. I can even change the color of the shadow if I wanted. If I wanted that shadow to be that purple color, I can make a purple shadow. So lots of different things that you can do with shapes. And guess what? You can do all these things with text too. So if I had some text here, if I inserted a text block, I can change the fill of my text, I can change the outline, and I can do all of these text effects as well. Let's take a look at that um, bevel because when you have a pattern in here, you usually um, can't do a bevel. But now I have a solid so that I can add a bevel to my shape if I want. And again, I can add that bevel look to text too. Remember, I didn't hold the shift, so it distorted. So that bevel again can be changed in a lot of different ways as well. I can change the depth and I can change this color if I wanted to. So I hope that helps you get started with shapes. Oh, one last thing. You can right click on your shape and you can edit text and you can add text in the middle of the shape. And the text can be highlighted and changed color, all of that, but your text will flow into the shape.